Hey YouTube, it is Keys. I know it's been quite some time since I have uploaded a video. I think it literally has been a year since my last video and I truly apologize. Um, but you guys know a lot has been going on. So, um, the last video I had uploaded, I was letting you guys know that I was pregnant. Um, I showed you guys clips of my gender reveal as well as, um, told the story about how I found out I was pregnant. Um, I did give birth. I gave birth middle of last year. I gave birth in June, um, to a baby girl. Her name is Solana. Um, and you guys probably hear her in the background. I'm going to grab her in a second. Um, but I'm letting her play right now. Um, but this video is going to be just me updating you guys. And um, talking about my labor. And just things that I did not know that did happen. Um, just letting you guys know my experience. And um, I think that will be it for this video. Yeah, I don't want it to be too long. Um, yeah, so let's get into it so the last thing like i said you guys saw was my gender reveal amazing it was the best gender reveal um i had a great great time it was just i loved it um and i was even more happy as you guys saw from that video to find out it was a girl i wanted a girl so bad um look motherhood got a gear <laughs> okay so i was trying to introduce her a little bit later on in the clip but she wants to <laughs> she wants to come out now so this is solana um she is now eight months old this video is all over the place but hey this is this is this is my life right now um but this is solana she is now eight months old um i gave birth to her on june 16th so she is a crazy gemini just like her father say hi say hi Say hi. <laughs> Say hi, Momo. She watching the TV. <laughs> so she can't. Momo, look at the camera. Momo. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Look at the camera, Momo. Hi, beautiful. Hi, beautiful. She's such a good baby. Yeah. Say hi. So my actual due date was on June 8th. Um, June 8th was actually Josh's birthday as well. Um, so if she would have came on June 8th, then they would have the same birthday. But, um, my actual due date was on June 8th. This girl was no kind of ready at all to come out. She, well, she was ready to come out, but she was not trying to budge at all. So, um, I actually, I actually had a doctor appointment that next day on June 9th. Um, we celebrated Josh's birthday and everything. And, um, my doctor, she was like, you know, we can just see what happens. Let's say maybe she'll come this weekend because, you know, she felt she may have been coming that weekend. She said, and if not, then we'll just set you up to be induced on Monday the 15th. So I was like, okay, we'll see what happens. So when I left the doctor's office that day, um, I tried to induce my own labor. And I was on YouTube looking up videos. I was on the internet looking up stuff on how to, do, how to induce your labor. I was drinking teas. Um, I tried drinking castor oil. Um, just doing the most and guys i do not recommend for you to try to induce your own labor at all um because in my mind i was trying to say like oh i want her to come naturally but in reality you're not even really having her come naturally because you're still inducing your labor it's just you're not doing it at the hospital but needless to say none of those methods worked the only method um that i thought was working was the castor oil and the reason i say that was um, I drank castor oil and I was like on the 12th, I believe. Yeah, the 12th. Um, I was drinking castor oil because I was like, that's a lie. It was June 11th because I was saying, okay, she's not going to have Josh's birthday. My birthday is July 12th and though I can't have her in July, at least she'll still have the 12th where we'll still be connected. I'm weird. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to try to induce it so she could be born on June 12th. <laughs> um, so on the 11th i was drinking castor oil and um, a couple hours passed and i started to feel excruciating pain like if there were braxton hicks or you know mild contractions but it was horrible um i, I ended up actually calling the doctor letting them know like hey um you know i'm feeling feeling these these sharp pains um they basically told me to measure the length um between them and depending on how close they were that will determine whether or not um, i was able to come into the hospital so um they were going on for like a good two to three hours and they were coming back like back to back 
um but they only lasted that three hour period so i was like okay this is over it didn't work she was okay um i actually didn't end up going to the hospital so i didn't I didn't have her during that weekend, so we went to the hospital on Monday, June 15th. Um, I was set to be induced at 10 a.m. We got there around 10, only got there. We did not eat because we were rushing, and I was just like, you know, freaking out. And just, just, I wasn't in the mind of, okay, I need to eat something. So when we first got there, um, they allowed me to eat, which now thinking about it, that probably was a bad idea because you'll hear later on the story um, but um around 10 a.m i came got settled in i ate and then i gave my first dose of pitocin so pitocin is used to help um you know start the process of labor or induce your labor um and just get contractions going so they gave me my first dose of pitocin and i was not feeling any kind of pain at all like i literally was just in the bed chilling like josh and i were just in the bed chilling watching tv watching shark tank um like i wasn't feeling like i wasn't in any kind of pain at all and even when she upped the dosage like i still was just like okay <laughs> like nothing's happening um but when i was there and i forgot to mention when i got to the doctor i was already about three centimeters dilated so i was already dilated just you know nothing was going on nothing was happening so i was already there just you know we need to progress a little bit further um and then after I, after that pitocin dosage the second one i was only like around like it didn't even move that much nothing was happening i mean like i was cramping and stuff but it wasn't anything crazy um so around 6 p.m they came in and they um and I actually had ended up having lunch too. Um, but around six they came in and my doctor, which let me talk about my doctor. Okay, so I the whole point of me going to this particular doctor office is because they had a black or African American um female, obviously, um, doctor. So I was super excited. I've been seeing her throughout my pregnancy. Um, so I just was under the assumption that she was going to be the one to also deliver my baby. Um, so please tell me why when I went to the hospital on the 15th, um, my doctor came in or this lady came in and then she was like, okay, I'm Dr. So-and-so. I'm going to be, um, assisting you during your labor, yada, 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 yada. And I'm like, where's my doctor? Who are you? And she was like, yeah, cause, um, your doctor, she said her name, obviously she's on vacation. I'm like vacation like she never even told me she was gonna be on vacation like that I thought was just so like so wild like you would think that you would be telling your patient hey you're I'm saying what to be induced I'm not gonna be here you're gonna be dealing with someone else because I'm gonna be on vacation um but anyways yes yeah, she wasn't there um so the doctor like I said the doctor and she so she made that formal that formal introduction I'm sorry I'm like all over the place scatter brain there's post pregnancy post pregnancy brain I have that um what was i saying okay yeah so my doctor came in she was like okay uh we've upped it up to the max you're still chilling basically um so i'm just gonna go ahead and just break your water because my water still had not broken um so she inserted that thing in me <laughs> and broke my water and I, I felt the gush of water and it wasn't painful at all i would like to say state that for me it was not painful when she did go in to break my water um, I felt a slight tug and it was a little bit uncomfortable, but it wasn't painful. Um, but yeah, that gush, it happened and it was just, oh my gosh, it was just water all over the place. Um, and after she broke my water, like my life changed. Okay. Um, them contractions, I was sitting there like, this is nothing. What is people complaining about? Like, oh my gosh, like this is so, no, not at all. Those contractions started happening. They were happening back to back like they were happening okay um and in the midst like i said i had my breakfast i had my lunch my stomach started bubbling <laughs> um luckily i did not poop during delivery but it was yeah it was not sitting right at all um and josh had to help me because i had all these wires hooked up and i'm like i gotta use it like i got <laughs> i got to go oh my gosh it was crazy um but yeah, once my water broke, them contractions started happening and it was just, it was crazy. Um, so I was sitting there and I had my little lavender, which I recommend. Um, 
it's like a lavender essential oil it's like to help calm you um so anytime i was having those contractions i was basically like sniffing this sniffing this lavender essential oil um it looks like a chapstick um i will start a picture of it so you guys can see it but that very much so helped me with my mind and the contractions especially after a while you start to tie them and you can see them on the machine you know when the next one's about to occur um so that did help with the pain but the pain there it was painful it was um the contractions was definitely painful um now i will say i ended up getting an epidural and i got an epidural around let me check my notes i have i was taking notes of everything um i got an epidural at nine so my water broke at six crazy pain but i was like you know what i'm gonna try to because i really 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 want to have a natural birth um I'm, like, I'm gonna try to stick it out just stick it out stick it out and i was managing the pain with that um lavender essential oil but at nine i was like you know what this is just becoming too much like I, I i can't deal like call that lady she need to come here shoot up shoot up my back <laughs> okay so i got an epidural at nine and something that people i have not seen people talk about when it comes to epidurals um a it is very scary it is intimidating it didn't hurt um there was one point where i did jump because um like he didn't tell me the doctor didn't tell me like okay i'm about to go in i was sort of like taken aback but it didn't hurt um but no one told me that you itch like i was itching like crazy after that epidural like i was itching so bad that I, and i kept scratching myself um that i end up like creating my like, warps on my skin because i was scratching so bad like places where i couldn't get to i had josh scratching me like the whole night i was so it, like that was the most unbearable part of this of the of my whole labor to be honest like the contractions yeah they, they were painful but that itching um which came after i got the epidural was just horrible like that's an effect no one told me i never knew that that was something that occurred um and i even text text my sister i'm like were you itching and she's like oh yeah she told me after the fact like after i'm scratching like i got um chicken pox or something like it was horrible but yeah the itching was unbearable and i kept I, I, like it was so bad that i even asked the nurse i'm like is there anything you could give me so like, i could give you benadryl but obviously that'll make you drowsy we don't need you sleeping during <laughs> during childbirth um so i literally had to just bear through it but the whole night oh my gosh i was itching so bad um, but after that epidural, I was at least able to relax because I wasn't in as much pain through because of the contractions. So um, I went to sleep. I slept a good like three hours. And then around 5 a.m., they came in to check my cervix to check me. And I was about nine centimeters dilated. So they were like, okay, we're getting there. You know, we're making progress. Um, but as you can see from me being coming in at, three, at 10 a.m. on the 15th, at three centimeters it took basically a whole almost day for me to reach a good centimeter um to, to reach nine centimeters so it took some time um to reach nine centimeters so obviously it took some time uh and then i will say like it was but I, at least but the good thing is i was comfortable i didn't need like any more um like any medication to like maintain the pain or to subside any pain um like once i got the epidural i was good but they did let me know you know if they need if i needed more if they need me to um, if i'm feeling uncomfortable just to let them know and they'll be able to assist me but i was good with just that one dose i didn't want her to come out all drugged out like i already got the epidural you know what i mean um so around like nine ish i started like oh okay something's not feeling right um i started feeling a lot of pressure and it started to feel i'm sorry again to go into this but i mean it's natural i don't know what i'm saying I'm sorry but like it started to feel like i had to poop like poop really bad um so i like called the nurse i'm like i have to poop she was like no she's like no more than likely it's it's getting time for you to probably about to start push i was like no i need to poop like like i like, if it felt like a really like i had to go I, it felt like that um, which turns out I did not. It literally was about to be time for me to push. So that was like around like from 9 to like 9.15. I'm going back with this lady like I gotta poop. She's like no you don't gotta poop. Just sit here basically. I'm like no I gotta poop. <laughs> She's like no you don't. Um, I end up I end up doing my first push at 9.35 exactly. I know because I was looking right at the clock. Um, but at 9.35 I did my first push. Um, and 
I would say it took about six to seven pushes. She was actually born at 10.48, so a little bit over an hour, hour and 15 minutes or so. Um, I was in actual, like, in actual labor. Um, but the actual labor part, it was not painful at all. It literally felt like, I keep referencing poop, and I, I'm sorry I keep doing that, but it literally felt like I was just pooping her out. Like, like it was just, uh, <laughs> Uh, that's literally like that's literally how it was it was just like you just really focusing on just getting this out um and it was it was such an amazing experience like when she was coming out and josh was like i can see her head i can see her head like he was super excited and he was like holding my leg and um there was one point when the nurse she had to step out to actually go get the doctor because we started pushing before the doctor even came in so there was one point where um, she had to step out to go get the doctor and basically Josh was in there being my doctor and he was like, I was like, I got to push right now. He was like, go ahead, push. And I'm, you know, I'm pushing, he counting. Um, and I'm like, okay, I'm away. And like, we were, like, we were, we had a little, we had a little rhythm. Like he, he definitely held me down. Um, but it was, it was a very, very, it was a very just life changing experience. And when I got to that, that last push, it was just, I don't even know how to describe the feeling. It was like a, a feeling of relief because it's just like it's just gone. Not it. She's like she's just out. But the, re the feeling, I'm, the reason I'm saying it is because it's just like she's out, and it's just like a, a instant rush of like, oh my god, like oh my god, that like literally that's how I felt. And she, the um, doctor, and he was my doctor was really cool. I feel like I'm just babbling. I'm having a conversation with you guys, so like you get what I'm saying. My doctor was really cool. And again, going back going back to doctors. Okay, so I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm all over the place. So you guys know I said in the beginning, random doctor came in, your doctor on vacation, I'm gonna be your doctor. I'm like, okay. That wasn't the case also. This um other doctor came in who was a guy actually. Um he came in and he actually ended up being my doctor and like I said he was really cool during my labor when he's like telling me to push and stuff he's talking about Vegas him gambling I'm like can we focus on this baby right now but it, it definitely helped it did help the situation with me like thinking in other places and I was actually having a conversation with him like it was it was weird um but yeah the my delivery was very very easy even the doctors and the nurses they were saying my gosh it's like one of the easiest births that we we've had um, they were like joking saying like, oh, the second baby is for free because how easy this was and how, how calm she came out. Um, but it was, it was very, very life changing and I would, I, I honestly would do it all over again. I, I would. Um, I know people keep, I know people say like, I couldn't think about another baby just because of the pain and don't get me wrong. It, there is pain. Um, it is uncomfortable, but what I kept telling myself, um, crazy enough where I kept telling myself and during that pain even though I ended up getting the epidural was you've you felt pain before um and I kept um referencing that pain to the loss of my mother and um I think that was one of the 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 things I did besides my little lavender um lavender essential oil thing that was another thing that that helped me get through the pain and get through this this delivery um was thinking about my mom and then just thinking about her strength and then also thinking about my strength um it has now been this year is actually five years since i have lost my mom and this all my sisters know i'm a very emotional person like i'm very emotional and this is something that i never thought in my wildest dreams that i would have experienced and to experience it without my mother it was like it was very very hard for me during my pregnancy very hard and um, i was i was sad a lot and even post postpartum which i'll go talk, do a separate video about that um because i can already tell us it's going to be long enough but even like the, going into my um i don't know it was it was very emotional very emotional and even during the lip delivery i had got a onesie made with my mom's face on it i made sure to have that onesie here um at my the top of my neck and i was like when i was pushing i was looking over at her and i was pushing like give me your strength mommy so she helped she definitely did help me she was in that she was in that room with me i can tell you that but i would do it all over again i honestly would um and i'm i'm so happy solana she's now eight months 
and I will I will do more videos. I'll do a video on what I have learned in these last eight months of being a mom. Like I said, I'll definitely do a video regarding postpartum, postpartum depression, something that I didn't think and I don't know I don't know why I didn't think I would experience it because it is very common. Um I definitely want to do a video on that. Um and just the changes that you go through and things like just my personal experience. I would love to talk to you guys about that. But regarding my labor and delivery, I hope you guys were able to follow it. It was a beautiful, beautiful situation. Um, the moment they put her on to me, it was my life just my life is has changed and it is changed for the better and it's an instant love, an instant connection and I was but also it was an instant oh shoot this is real <laughs> like oh my god this is a baby i never held a baby this small i barely even hold babies like oh my gosh but i did not want to let her go um and the funny thing is like i said i don't know anything i still thought it was like the old days where they put the baby in a little little bed thing and like pushed her away no that baby when she came out of me she was with me from coming out till we left okay she was with me all day every day and i'm like okay this is real um and it's not like the old days where they take them to the nursery. No, you are the mom. You're taking care of her. That was crazy. Um, but yeah, she's beautiful. She came out 6 pounds, 15 ounces, 19 inches long. A very little lengthy baby. Um, not as big as I thought she would be. Um, but she was a, a decent size. But it was beautiful. I love her. Um, breastfeeding. It, I, I have a lot of, a lot of stuff I, I need to talk to you guys about or go into detail about. Um... But it was it was an amazing experience, and I know a lot of people say with that pain they won't do it again. But I definitely I definitely would do it again. It was definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Um, and I'll I'll try to insert some clips so you guys can see see what what was going on. Josh didn't set the camera up like how I wanted to. Cause I had this whole little vision in my mind. We about to vlog this whole little bit. No, it didn't happen like that. But life happens. It don't happen how you think it's gonna happen. Um, and even speaking of vlogs, I have clips literally from like march of last year just me going to the doctor and stuff like that let me know if you guys want me to put that into a vlog i was thinking like it's been a year no one really cares but if you guys would like to see all those little clips uh because i have them i have the video edited but i was like it's no point in uploading it but i may still upload it if you guys suggest it um just let me know but that's it i already see all my thing is saying 16 minutes long hopefully i could cut this down and it's not too long but you guys know i like to talk so Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please continue to subscribe, comment, and write. And thank you, thank you, thank you all for your support, for your praises, your congratulations. You guys, you guys really mean a lot to me. Um, and I really, really appreciate you guys. I really do. You guys have literally, literally grown with me since freaking college to now. Me, 28 years old. Going to be 29. Oh, my God. And to a mom, a whole mom, a whole mom. But... Thank you guys. I, I love you guys. I appreciate you all. And stay tuned for videos. I, I promise. It's hectic. I'm going to try to figure it out. But I promise to. I promise to, to be back on YouTube. To get my videos back. And, and just. I like talking. So that's what it will be. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.